good day and cheers from Ed over at Antique Toys. We have a super sized truck, a Japanese smaller 10 toy for budgets. We've got American Tonka from the 60s, and then we have good old American cast iron from the 30s. Details to come, stay tuned for our overview of trucks from Antique Toys. All right, so let's get started with the big elephant in the room. It is a Buddy L, circa 1930. Uh, 1930, they had some great features. They added some headlights, some nickel bumpers, uh, rubber tires, and then they went for the gusto. They decided to put dualies back here in rubber, uh, Firestone branded. And the best of the best of that 30 and 1929 time had doors, so, um, let us know if you have a door toy from Buddy L in your collection. We're always interested. These are tough to find because they came out right at the depression and then stopped. Um, in the back, we have a cover. Uh, there's ice blocks over there and tongs. Uh, our particular example is made by T, T Productions, uh, but it was made to exacting detail. I think some of the parts were made in the US too, and it was a fully licensed Buddy L toy circa i think late 90s early 2000s so this will be on our site shortly all right next we've got budget-minded 1930s plymouth i mean you think the 20s had the duesenbergs and the beginnings of the rios the buicks and then plymouth kind of crept into american personality with budgets uh and likewise with this particular toy it was a budget toy of the great depression it was right around five inches long but it's a wonderful arcade nickel grilled uh, toy. Nickel grills were an evolution where they added some glitz, but kept the budget reasonable. And ours has petrified rubber tires on it. You jump to the 50s, economy 50s. Uh, the Japanese were just coming out of uh, World War II bombings and they only could use certain materials like cans and so America imported these by the thousands. They were Jeeps because after they lost the war, the American thought was, let's just give them something simple like a toy industry. And they asked the GIs to use tin. So they created this a lot of times out of recycled GI food containers, tin, tin containers. Uh, it's a super humble beginning, but obviously the Japanese ran with the idea of being a toy industry people and uh, to this day they dominate i'd say maybe 50 percent of the toy market so telephone jeep humble beginnings okay stepping forward from the 30s uh we jump a little bit we get into the 60s and the 60s had kind of that cool vibe you know like oh wow okay. let's do a cab over the engine and let's make it look almost like a hot rod or a Hot Wheels design toy. Uh, this is a ta uh, Tonka toy. It's done in um, Mound, and I think it's Mound, Minnesota. Really cool toy. Rubberish plastic tires. I think that this is rubber, this petrified plastic insides, but very durable steel everywhere. And you gotta love the purple. Okay, so there you have it. We've got a big daddy, a budget, a groovy 60s, and a budget-minded cast iron from the 30s to just compare and contrast. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and be sure to subscribe. Take care, everybody. Cheers from Red Everett Antique Toys.